Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7. Repent, for the time is at hand, and judgment must now reign. January 18, 2009. From the Lord, our God and Savior. A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Fear my name. From sea to sea, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. Even those in the outermost reaches of the world shall come to know my name, for I shall cause it to resound in all the earth. And the earth shall tremble, it shall be severely shaken, for I am come. Peoples of the earth, I am coming down, and I shall visit. Yes, I shall visit, says the Lord. I shall come upon you as the whirlwind, and tear you in pieces as the hurricane. Behold, I shall cover you as the mighty flood. I shall overflow. For judgment has come, and I shall visit. I shall surely repay. Thus says the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth. I am moved from my place. I am stirred up as the hornet's nest, and I shall sting. The noise of my voice shall be heard. The hotness of my anger shall be felt. A scorching heat, singeing all these hardened foreheads. For they have forsaken me. Therefore fall down, all you wicked. Be cast down, all you high-minded. Grovel at the feet of your Creator, you double-minded hypocrites. For I am come, and I shall visit upon this world great recompense for all its adulteries against God. For all your murders and oppression shall I lay it waste, O wicked peoples of the earth. Behold, my hand is removed, evil reigns. Horsemen, go forth, stir up the multitudes, and according to all they have sown, let it be done to them. Let them drink from their own vine of wickedness. Let them partake of their own supper, which they have prepared with contemptuous hands. Let all the world revel, for the whole world shall be defiled, a wash in blood and tears. Pestilences shall come forth and consume, and famine shall increase throughout the land. Death shall fill every corner. Then when the transgressors come to the full, I shall visit. I shall pour out my anger. It shall be poured out upon them without respite. The world shall wane for the weight of my wrath. It shall be turned on its side for the fury of my judgments. Lightnings and thunderings, hail and blood, the shaking of all foundations. Behold, the earth shall spew at my presence. Peoples of the earth, woe to you! For the Lord God has come out of his sanctuary. Behold, my arm is outstretched, and who shall stand? And what evil is able to prevail against me? Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, O perverse and conceited generation, deceitful peoples. The sow knows her place and wallows in it, yet you know no boundaries. Your sin proliferates as the pestilence and spreads forth as the plague. And you, O modern peoples of this wicked age, love to have it so. Shall I not repay? Did you think it was hidden from my eyes? Did you think I, even I, your maker, would not come and make a quick end? O oh, deceived generation, I had sent to you grace, yet you turn and spit at the king. And what shall I say to a people, the likes of which even those of Sodom and Gomorrah would have fled from, saying, For this people and its ways are a terror unto us. Let us go into silence, and suffer not to know the Lord's anger over that which a people such as this have committed. For our sins were great, 
and we receive the due reward for our iniquities. Yet these people have come out to fight against the King of glory, and do pervert his name without ceasing. Yet I know your thoughts, and have heard your voices, O most wicked generation. Even now I hear you saying, Where have we sinned against the Lord? And by what means did we come to receive all this punishment at his hand? Who is our king, and what king is appointed over us? O oh, wicked and arrogant generation! There is a king who reigns and shall come, yet he remains hidden from your eyes. Therefore, thus says the Lord your God, of whom you have forsaken and not known, choosing rather to strike me from all remembrance, that your consciences may be free. There is another king, and he have I appointed over you, and him you shall serve until the time be changed. He shall be fierce, and his countenance shall be like no other man. Yet to you he will be like a savior, full of kind and smooth words, hissing softly as a serpent which hypnotizes its prey into submission. A serpent, a man understanding dark sentences, a man who serves the prince and the power of the air. He shall reign in all the earth for a short season, and you shall flock to him and bow down, and you shall bear in your foreheads and upon your right hands the mark and the number of his name. For you have all become as goats fatted for the slaughter. You have chosen vanities and do always revel in your uncleanness, pursuing all the lusts thereof. And so I give to you a king, one who shall woo you and bring in the slaughter. And you, together with him, shall drink of the wine of the wrath of my fury. Then you will know, I am the Lord. Behold, you shall seek to hide yourselves from the face of him who sits upon the throne of his glory. For the lion shall suddenly appear out of his place. And you and all your armies shall be cut to pieces, consumed by the power of his roar and the brightness of his coming. From Mount Zion to the uttermost hills his roar shall resound. Yea, the quaking of his footsteps shall shake the heavens and the earth. All shall be thrown down, for the king of ages is come. The earth shall be his footstool, all dark mountains shall be bowed down, and all the high places shall be ground to dust beneath his feet. The beautiful mountains shall lay prostrate, and all the pleasant hills shall bow down before him to give him glory, calling out, The Lord is my God, the scepter is with us. Come now, and hear the voice of the Lord your God. For I had spoken to you in quiet throughout the generations, yet you had not ears. Indeed, you refused to hear. No more. Sound the trumpet. Send out a company. Ring the alarm among the people. For judgment has come, and great harvest. Death and escape. My people, today is the day. Call upon the name of the Lord, by him whose name is one with the Father, and repent. Drink from this cup filled with my own blood, which I have poured out for you. Return to me, that I may gather you. Escape and be sheltered under the shadow of my healing wings. And for a week, and in the day, you shall be hidden. For the Lord omnipotent reigns, and has spoken, and so shall it be done. <laughs>